in the name of the Almighty and on my parents, let me start. Dear plus two computer students, kind guys, I am one Dr. Muthukumar from Vijaya Health Center at Vadamalani, Chennai. You would have heard of this uh, institution. It's one of the biggest and largest uh, multi-specialty hospitals throughout in Tamil Nadu. I am holding an exclusive unit since 25 years. My brother, one doctor, Mani Alagar, he is based at Florida, USA. From there, he is working since another 30 years. So both of them, we joined together. I, we pumped in our money and this is how we started this Bay University. We are neither a broker nor an agent. We are the owners of the Bay University. This I want to make it very clear. Right, why doctor? Why did you start this fund? You may ask me. But the reason being is one fine day before three years, my brother came on a vacation and you, we were all dining in my house. At that time in TV, it was flashed that one uh, Anita by name, she committed suicide because she didn't get the required marks in NEET. That affected both of us. So I was very frustrated and said, what this type of people, what in this year, they do not have a self-confidence. What they are, why they are unnecessarily uh, doing like this. Likewise, I was a little worried. At that time, my brother told me, uh, brother, not like this. In years, if you come to years, need to play no role. I was so, I was really taken aback. The reason being is being a doctor, I belong to the 1972 batch of Madhuri Medical College. In 78, after completing my MBBS degree, most of the doctors, we just, we wanted to go to America and work there. That is our, that was our uh, ultimatum. This is how we have been trained all through the days. But the problem is you have got one entrance examination named USMLE. That is United States Medical Licensee Examination. That is USMLE, you have to write it down. Like you are uh, NEET, here you are conduct NEET, you know, that likewise in the US, you got a US only examination that you have to pass to get into the city. This is how that was the day. So, but uh, very unfortunate of the 100 uh, doctors who appeared for US only, only two people were selected. So, uh, we, most of the doctors, we thought it's a very tough uh, examination, so we need not bother or say, let me carry on my own thing. So, I stayed in India uh, till 30, 35, 40 years, I am practicing in India, particularly in Chennai, that area. Likewise, I asked my brother, no, 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 your assembly is very tough. My, my children from India, they could not cope up all those things. That time he said, uh, now why don't you come to uh, US? Let us have a discussion with the uh, educational officers and all. So pre-corona time, I went to US. I had a detailed talk with all the uh, educational officers there. That time, I came to know why US assembly was very tough. The reason being is, we doctors in India, we have been trained by the syllabus given by the, we are following the English people's syllabus. US assembly is a one syllabus that is given by the United States. So this is entirely different, that is entirely different. We learn first year anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, something like that, on topics we lead. But US assembly is totally different. Uh, social medicine, family medicine, old man, older medicine, like, likewise it has been detailed and in different headings it has been taught. So doctors who have completed a BBS in India, at least they can get through, get through the exam, but the required mark, they never uh, get it. That was the problem. When I recognized this one, then both of us, we thought, why don't we start an institution and let us take the class according to the US syllabus. So that right from first year itself, you will be learning the US syllabus. So because our Indians are always briny, it is not be a problem for them when they reach the third year, when they have to appear for the US assembly part one, we thought it will be very simpler and easier. So happily I came down and I was planning to start a unit at uh, the university at the uh, US and uh, bring the students there. There is another problem because America is very expensive. It comes to more than 2.2 crore actuals to complete five years course because it's a very expensive city. So I know about the uh, economical value of uh, our Indian people. So 2.2 is uh, really uh, uh, very huge money for anybody. So it's not that simple. 
So I just want to make some other alternative. So I went and discussed with the uh, officers there. That time, they beautifully, they suggest me one alternative. What is that one is, any medical college, even India, you take it, will, this is going to be over five years. Out of the five years, first three years, you will be given education only within the classroom. You will not be allowed to go to the hospital at all. For three years, you will be placed only in the room, classrooms. Another two years, the last two years, you'll be put up in clinical study. Then you'll be allowed to go into the hospital and learn about the patients and touch the patients. Till that time, you'll be given education only in the classroom. So they said, Dr. First three years, because it's a classroom study, you can have it anywhere else, outside America. But two years has to be done within America. Then only you are eligible to hold this MD degree. What is the speciality of the MD degree that I would like to entertain? This MD degree is given by the American Board Certification. Indian MDs, if they want to, even if it is a 30 years, 40 years experience, if they want to go out and work somewhere outside in India, you take it from me, even, either, even in the Singapore, Malaysia, nearby places. Once you go move out of India, automatically you have to go and work there for two years. Then you have to write an exam. Then only you will be allowed to practice as an MD. Take it from me. This is a respect, Indian degree, MD respect that is outside India. You have to take it in mind. Likewise, the DMD degree given by the Filipinos, then again Russians, then uh, Chinese, it is considered, in India, it is considered only as an MBBS. I make it very clear. Though you read it for seven years, it is considered as MBBS. So this is where we differ. Kindly go and check your knee, net and see what uh, American board certification is. You completely see in Google, you can download all the things. Clearly it has been written. The degree given by the American board is considered as MD everywhere. Globally it is recognized. Even in India it is recognized. So once we brought it to Aruba for three years and two years, at uh, within New years, you can complete the five years MD course. I, I again and again I am telling you, sir, why Aruba, sir? Why not somewhere else? Yes. Aruba Island is one thing, it is a 45 minute flight from uh, US, number one. Number two, believe me, you go and check in the Google, it's just go for a Googling for Aruba Island, A R U B A, Aruba Island. You can just, you can enjoy. It's a, one of the beautiful eight, eight beaches uh, places. It's an island. It's called as one happy island. But more than that, I underline, you do not have so far, one FIR has been filed. It's zero percent crime country. It's even safer than India and uh, the places where you now reside. It's more even better. So out of this thing, I wanted to set up the university at Aruba Island. So myself and brother started at the university in the Aruba Island. So first to start with, you have to come and stay there for three years. After the three, third year examination, you have to write the U.S. Assembly Part 1. Easily write from day one, you will be taught according to this syllabus. So once you pass that one, you will be put up in U.S. In U.S. you will be having clinical training for two years. After completing the clinical training, you have to write the U.S. Assembly Part 2. I make it very clear. Once you write that one, that is the final exam for MD. Then as you do the outside here, there you will be placed as a senior internship. It's given by the government. You will be posted some in hospitals for which you will be paid 3 lakhs as a stipend. From the, it's not a salary, it's a stipend given by the government. So you will be earning 3 lakhs. So it will be there for five years. They allow you to do like that for five years. Within this five years, that is most of the Indian doctors, Indian students, after one to one and a half years, they would like write the US only part three. When they complete part three, actually you are eligible to work in uh, US. Like once you complete your MBBS or MD, you are ready for the TNPAC. But unless you come through a TNPAC, you will not be given a government seat. Likewise, there you got a board meeting. So after completing this third U.S. Assembly exam, you have to appear for the board. Thereafter, within 21 days, it has been given in the uh, net. You can go and check it up. You will be placed in any of the 50 states of the U.S. with a green card. You take it from me. Sir, what, are, what the amount we get out of it? Go and check it in the net. It has been given for a uh, um, pediatrician, for a, sorry, for a uh, orthopedician, for cardiologist. What is the payment? It is 500,000 US dollars. That works to nearly 3.75 crore per year. 
so 365 days 375 lakhs so you are entitled to earn 1 lakh per day i underline even I, may, I might have been practice, in practice for more than 40, 40, 40 to 43 years, but in my, in my whole year, never I have seen one lakh in one day practice. That is impossible in India and anywhere. But it is possible when you go to US and pass all these things. What's the for which you have to join our uh, Bay University. Now let me talk about the Bay University and the payment. For the first year, 2,000 US dollars is my admission fee. After that, 1,500, 600, 15,600 US dollars is the first year tuition fee. If you pay this one, it works to, both together, it works to 13 lakhs plus, 13 plus lakhs. Once you pay that one to the our Aruba um, Bay University, a bona fide certificate will be, in turn, will be given to you. Stating that you are entitled, you have been admitted, this is your uh, number. Then you have to pay to the second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, what, what is the amount you have to pay, everything. Then for the, uh, what is it, for the stay and accommodation, what is it, everything will be given. So you take that benefit certificate, go and meet any of the nationalist banks. For the student's educational loan, nobody can deny it is your birth rate. Being an Indian, it's your birth rate. Anybody has to say yes. But two things they want. One is a bona fide certificate that is paid only after you are paying 13 lakhs. Second one is you have to give a collateral. If you want less than 25 lakhs, no collateral is negative. More than 25 lakhs, you have to give a collateral. Very simple. It's a all India policy. Nobody can change it. So, in a collateral, what way? You have to give a, a document stating that any field, any uh, houses, or anybody who is already holding. Uh, FD, they can come and sign. According to the, you have to need to cater the needs of the bank people. We do not have any say in those things. So naturally, once you get this one, you'll be totally, you'll be paid. Throughout the five years, you need not pay any EMI, including for interest. I underline. Uh, for the whole year, for stay and tuition fee, completely the bank will take over. Then after that, after the completion of five years, for six months, your son will have a holiday period. So five and a half years, not even a single pie, you have to repay in the form of EMI to the bank. I make it very clear. After the completion of five and a half years, for 15 years, long years, 180 EMI installments, believe me. Already they started earning three lakhs. So hardly 20, 25 lakhs is not at all going to be a problem for them. So it will be 180 installments, take it from me. So this is one of the finest opportunity for a son and daughter to come and join the Bay University and become a MD that is given by the American Board Institute of Certifications. In our college, we got certain things that I would like to entertain. In number one, we used to have 100 people, 100 people in one school college, one, one section. You take it from me, in Madhuri Medical College, when I was a student, we used to be 100 people to be sitting. So do when doctors come in, takes classes, he never knows who is uh, concentrating, who is sleeping, nothing, nobody bothers. But here, in our university, it's a small sized class as we have arranged. 20 people, not more than 20 people in one class. The teacher will have a staunch, repeated follow-up on what you are doing and what you are excelling out. Okay, each and every Saturday you have to write an exam. So, continually for three, four exam, you are not that good in any subject without getting extra money. We are ready to give you uh, tuitions free of cost. Moreover, we see to that, you do, you do it. Because I am a doctor, my brother is a doctor, we know where the students may go this way, that way, we will restrict completely. To promote your uh, interest in subject, getting more marks, what you are doing, what you have planned is myself and brother, from the second year onwards, second year and third year, for the two years, right on day one, we'll tell you the mark you have to secure, 80%, 85%. So throughout, we'll be conducting exams on each Saturdays. At the end of the year, totally when the aggregate exceeds what the what we have already promised you in the first day when it exceeds we are ready to give back our tuition fee a part of a tuition fee it will not be in thousands i say it will be in lakhs we will be giving it back i can boldly say throughout in india no university is doing like that only to promote 
the study, the interest, to promote the interest of the student to study, we have organized this one. We have got a separate uh, uh, center for uh, ladies hostel, we have got a gents hostel, and the chef are from uh, Tamil Nadu, particularly from Virudhanagar, and you will have only uh, veg and non-veg and the Indian style. And we have also, also appointed the Indian doctors working in uh, US to take classes, so the language will not be a barrier to you. You like very friendly. So these are all the things, everything you have to mind. But one thing, tuition fee alone is mandatory. The, um, the, the cl classroom, the, what is it, the, for food and accommodation, it is not mandatory. But it's a beautiful country, you can stay anywhere, you can come, you can have whatever be that. It is not mandatory. Because it's a good thing, there is zero percent interest and very cheap, everywhere it is very cheap. You can even stay out, that is not mandatory. Tuition fee alone is mandatory. But if you avail our things, you will be under our control. Very simple. So with all this, happily, I invite you, all the students, to come and join in our university for the third batch of the MD um, uh, medical degree given by the American board certifications. It is going to change your entire life. Even the whole generation will be completely changed. Sir, I do not want to work in America, sir. I want to come back to India. What I should do? Nothing. Once you get pass your uh, plus the, the third uh, year assembly part, you come back to India. Comfortably, wherever you go, you are recognized as an MD. You can apply for a government job. You can go for any corporate of hospitals. You can uh, open your own, your own nursing home. Whatever you want to do. Comfortably, you can do. Not only in India, throughout India, in all part of the country, all part of the globally, in the world. Everywhere, American board certification is recognized. Nobody can question all those things. So, uh, moreover, we already have a tie-up with the uh, universities in UK, particularly Glaxo, Edinburgh and uh, Liverpool. These are all the uh, places where the MRCP and MRCP, CGO, these are all being trained, the degrees are trained. You know very well, since one DK, 10 years, nobody from India is being sheltered for these things in uh, UK. So because we are tie up, after completing this one, for another two years, pretty much in our Bay University name, you can go and join in uh, London and do the higher studies. So after in seven days, seven years, after completing uh, MRCP and MRCU, once you come back to India, you think of your life. So if at all you want to come to India, that is also possible. If you want to be in America, you can earn more with a green card. So with this, I really wholeheartedly welcome you all for this wonderful chance of getting into America as a doctor and be there and your whole family and the generations will be benefited in so many other ways. If you want to come back to India, that is also possible because it is an American board certification. So we can come and serve the people of India and serve the community at large. With this, I welcome you all and thank you so much. Thanks for your patience hearing. Thank you. God bless.